Hello everybody, welcome to the Big Boy Toy Store. Not complete yet, we really want this to be done for Christmas. We do have our Christmas tree up. Um, trying to get in the holiday spirit, but this is showroom number three of our project. And uh, as you can see, the glass doors are up. If you follow our other media, you'll see some time lapse of that being done. Everything in here had to be special order due to the size, just like our other building. But what this is gonna be for those that have been watching, there's going to be a total of five glass doors in here. Everything's going to be lit up. We're going to have a lot of our classics in here. Uh, we're also going to have a lot of our equipment in here. Equipment, yes, will be outside. People will be working with it, whatever. But we like it when it's almost new to be in here. So we have right now we've got a couple excavator, mini X's, a uh, tractor with a backhoe. It'll keep stuff in here nice and clean. If it's snowing or raining, you can come in here on a rainy day and check out our equipment. We're going to have our golf cart stuff in here. We'll have our ATVs and side-by-sides in here. And we'll also be able to keep like our Mammoth $200,000 CXT indoors out of the weather. Stuff we've always wanted to be able to do to really present our product. we got a great product. We've always had a good product for 47 years. But when it sits outside and it's dirty and a customer flies in from Florida unexpectedly, you know, it doesn't show as well as we like. So we want people to see our actual product. Diesel Brothers Super Duty in the back. Cool high country sitting back there on 22s or 24s. Uh, American Forces on both trucks. This thing will hold, I don't know, 40 vehicles. So we have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and here comes AJ with uh, one of our new toys, which will also be indoors here. We bought a shirt, yes. An off-road shirt that is, I don't know, one of the coolest things we've ever had. We did post a video a while back, but unfortunately the video content sucked because we didn't have our mics. And again, we don't have our mics, but hopefully in this building it's better. But this is a amphibious shirt for those that don't know what these are. Um, it's got a top release hatch in case you can't get out. It's got a front windshield that flips up. Uh, nice step to get out of the back, a nice step to get out of the front. Uh, let your dogs jump up in there. These are the ultimate rich redneck toy. Um, the coolest part about these is, and it's a little sentimental to us, and that's the reason I had no questions about buying this one. I even told the guy that I bought it from, um, you know, just bought it, didn't even look at it, just sent my uh, driver down with the money and bought it. But my uncle, and well, we had a phone call several years back, and uh, it was uh, these foreign speaking, different language people, but you know, they spoke broken English. And they said, look, we see you guys, your ATVs, your 4x4s and stuff like that. You've got a great web presence. We got a product we want to sell. They told us what it was. We were like, we had no idea. So um, we said, what the heck? You know, they wanted to fly in. They wanted to bring two units. I couldn't leave. It was auction day. A lot of other things were going on. So I sent my dad and my uncle. And uh, most everybody knows my dad since passed. But uh, he didn't leave the office very often. But... They both went and this, these uh, people rented a uh, facility not far from here and they delivered two of these and they played with them all day long. Mud, swamps, climbing over logs, deflating the tires, airing up the tires, going up steep grades, um, everything these things were made for. And it was this generation. Now they have a generation two, which is a little different design on the new ones, but uh, it was just like this. Uh, they wanted us to be a distributor. They were going to have a West Coast distributor and an East Coast distributor. We were going to be East Coast. Um, but this was in like 2015-16 and uh, I think the buy-in was four things and it was like three or four hundred thousand dollars. Well, you know, I'm not saying it, we didn't really have it. That was our inventory cost. You know, we didn't have the money to play with like that at that time. So we did not go with it. Uh, we helped support them. We mentioned it to a couple other places. Well, lo and behold, Along came COVID, they went crazy. Um, you know, like I said, every rich redneck or business owner that has anything to do with pipelines or farming, they own them. YouTube guys, every YouTube guy thinks had one and it's blown up on content. So hopefully y'all do the same for us, blow this up on content. But we got a little bit deeper background with these things. Uh, we're a little late to the game. It's one opportunity we uh, missed out on, but Lo and behold, you know, we didn't do too bad. Things are going good for us, and uh, you know, it was just a missed opportunity. You can't take them all. Uh, but this shirt, I did buy for YouTube content. We are gonna bring you some more. We actually have a YouTuber coming out that's got two or three million subscribers, and he's gonna do some content with it. We're gonna play with it. In the meantime, it is for sale. So like everything else, it can be bought. 
uh, as long as I'm not using it or, you know, whatever. The air up, air down feature works. There's so much technical stuff we could get into, but uh, yesterday AJ decided he had a cool idea. We were actually doing some stuff for, uh, for an online auction and we were taking pictures and he had it over in our back pasture area. <clears throat> he said, man, this broom straw and these weeds, it was like this tall. He said, man, let's ride through it. Yeah, it's nothing for this. It'll ride right through it. It's a little muddy at the bottom. It's gonna go right through. So we set our cameras up. We had everything ready to go. AJ jumps in, he comes right on through there. I think it's on our Instagram channel and probably on our TikTok. So you can go watch it. It did turn out pretty good. But what I forgot was there was a chain link fence inside of those weeds. So uh, if you hear the noise in the video, uh, clanging and crashing, it's because the shirt took down the chain link fence and all the chain with it with no problems. So not only can it go across water, ford a swamp, climb a tree, climb a wall, but it'll also tear up your uh, chain link fence really good too. So uh, whatever the job, these things are cool. Uh, this one's had the basket rack added, some LED lights added. It's got a hookup for a rear view camera. We sent it to our stereo guy because it did not have a stereo. We put a sound bar waterproof system in it with Bluetooth. A bunch of the switches were kind of just old and crappy. We replaced those. Uh, got the battery connections all nice. We serviced the whole thing. It's running a Kubota engine or Kubota, however you want to say it. Um, so you know the parts are good. Uh, it's a chain drive system. So yeah, one day you're gonna have some problems with the chain drive. It's like anything else that has a chain, just like your bicycle when you were a kid. So we've got a bucket of extra chain parts, sprocket parts, anything that you might need for it. The greasing system, it actually has a greaser that greases the chain. We made sure that was working right. We filled it up with grease. Um, all the fluids were gone over, the oil was changed. So it's ready to rock. Like it is service ready. One of the few Sherps available in the country right now uh, at a pretty good price for what it is. Includes delivery, as long as it's within uh, the U.S. And we've tested it, we're getting ready to test it more. So if you want it with less dirt or less mud or less hours, jump on it now, great Christmas present. I'm glad AJ was messing with it to bring it over here. So now we'll turn this into a Sherp video, but showroom number three, we're pretty close. Um, we'll keep dropping some content. Boys will keep getting this stuff ready and uh, we'll keep selling it all over the world and keeping this uh, dream a reality for us. Davis Auto Sales, Davis 4x4, above average trucks. Make sure to watch the Davis Off Road channel as well with Daniel uh, and Brian. A lot of content there too, both my brothers and uh, Davis Water Sports, but it's winter time, so who wants a boat right now? So. Best thing is a boat, there's a shirt. It'll get you the same places, go shoot some ducks out of it, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. Click and subscribe.